At Application, we pride ourselves on making one of the best developer tools, making it easier for anyone to create a backend instantly. Speed and simplicity is our goal, and to streamline that first step of creating a backend, we're proud to announce our new service, Wizard. Let's create a new service and see how easy it is to use. In this project, you can see we have an existing service called King's Cross Station. We'll click the Add Resource button, and we'll add a service resource. This will start us with the new wizard. The first step in the process is to give our service a name, and we'll call our service Hogwarts. By default, application will sync the new service into whatever repository you have configured for your project. However, if you wanted a polyrepo structure for your code base, you could always override this default setting and sync the service into a different repository. Application can generate endpoints for you based on whatever technology you want. You can enable GraphQL for your project, REST API endpoints that are self-documented with Swagger, and an admin UI panel, giving you easy access to edit your database. You could always not expose your database and disable all API endpoints, but we won't for this service. Since you can manage multiple services in a project, it makes sense to let users structure the repository to best fit their code base. That's why we help structure your project based on whether your services are synced to one repo or into multiple repositories. With more to come, Application currently supports three different types of database connections, Postgres, MongoDB, and MySQL. So pick whatever database you want your service to communicate with, and we'll do the heavy lifting of setting up the database connection. If you're using Application for the first time, try out our template project, which is an order management system that has all of the necessary entities configured. Otherwise, select empty to start from scratch. Authentication can be a critical security component of your services, but you don't always need it. Either use our baked in auth module, or for your convenience, you can turn off authentication altogether. And that's it. We went through all the steps of creating a new service, and now we can give it a look. On the right hand side, you can see the fruit of our labor. There's a bunch of entities from our template. There's a MongoDB configuration, as well as the authentication module configuration. So at this point, we're going to want to commit the changes and build our code. The build process can take a minute or two, depending on the complexity of your project and how many services you have. We're not going to wait all day for that. So we're gonna speed up this process. After the services are built, click open with GitHub in the bottom left to be directed to your repository. Navigate to your pull requests to see the newly created PR by application. Reviewing the code, we can see the new service we created and the app structure we configured. We hope this makes it even better than ever for you to build services with application. And if you like what we're doing, be sure to star the application repository on GitHub and join our Discord community to connect with the team and other developers using application. Links to both are in the description. Until next time, good luck.